Mm. Hi, Carol here. This is my first YouTube video. Well, actually, no, it's, it's not my first. I've done a couple of little travelog, travel vlog videos, but uh, this is my first review. And the reason I decided to do this was because over the last couple of years, I have watched countless YouTube videos, probably maybe not thousands, but an awful lot. And it started when I was on the search for my very first Louis Vuitton bag. And that was about two years ago when I finally decided I'm at that age where, yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna get myself a really nice handbag. And just as a frame of reference, up until that point, the most expensive handbag I had ever purchased was I think a Roots crossbody bag for $200. So just kind of gives you an idea. Well, I've uh, thanks to all of you, uh, shout out to Jerusha. Uh, she was one of the first uh, people that I saw reviewing Louis Vuitton and doing her unboxing, and also to uh, Queen Katz and BJ Taylor. Thank you all, you've given me great information and I now have uh, a little bit of a collection. Now, plus some small leather goods. But the purpose of today's video is not to talk about my handbag collection, but, and not even to talk about this particular handbag in any detail because there's loads of reviews on this, but to actually talk about a purse organizer that I purchased for my Speedy B30. And here's this um, lovely handbag. I got it in the Damier Aben. Um, and I, uh, with the beautiful red lining, if you can see the inside. And I have to tell you, well, I got the bandolier because I never ever thought that I would ever purchase a Speedy because I cannot walk around holding on to the handles of my handbag or even doing this. It would make me crazy. I have always, always had either a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. So I needed those options. So. Now, the other thing was that I was always a bit of a purist. I thought to myself, well, you know what? If Louis Vuitton had intended the bag to be perfectly organized, they would have put all kinds of little pockets in it. And so for the first couple of months that I had this bag, I carried it, just all my stuff inside. I actually like when the bag sags a little bit, a little bit of bag sag. Um, but I have to say that when I was carrying it cross body, what would happen is that the bag would almost collapse on itself and it was completely losing its shape and you couldn't even really tell that it was a speedy, unfortunately. So I'll show you the little bit of difference. I'm going to do a before and after. I'm going to put a bunch of my stuff. This is the stuff that I normally carry plus a couple of options. And I'll show you how it fits in the bag and what the bag looks like without the organizer and with the organizer. And the organizer that I selected after again watching a lot of YouTube videos was the purse bling organizer, the one that uh, Geraldine Stein actually designed, not the purse to go. And I'll also tell you um, why I chose that. Both of them make um, a purse organizers. Uh, that will specifically fit into a Speedy 30. Both of them make red organizers, but what I liked about the Purse Bling organizer was that uh, it was soft. I, I wanted to add organization to my bag. I didn't want to add a lot of structure. So this organizer is soft. As you can see, it's very soft. The bottom of it is, real, is, is not the same thick thickness of this fabric. It's soft. It's basically just to hold the structure of the organizer together. At the ends, there are snaps. I liked the idea of snaps versus Velcro on the purse to go organizer. So you can actually snap this up either uh, using the little, these small snaps to make it a little bit smaller. You can do that at the top and the bottom that brings that in a little bit if your bag isn't very wide. Or you can use both the snaps. 
You can snap at the, the bottom, but not at the top. And so you could basically customize the shape of this organizer. <coughs> now, it is, uh, as you can see, this one is the Jumbo, which fits into perfectly into the Speedy 30. And, um, and so I can put it in my bag without doing any of the snaps up. So first of all, I'm going to put my stuff in without the purse organizer and then I show you what that looks like and then I'll put the organizer in with the stuff in the pockets and we'll see what the difference is. So here we go. I carry with me my zippy wallet, a, um, a small coach wristlet with a bunch of tech stuff in it like and my pens and um, my mini pochette with some uh, toiletry stuff. Um, I will carry my sunglass case, put that at the end. My reading glasses, unfortunately I always have to have those with me. Uh, my, um, uh, this is a card organizer. Absolutely love this. I can put my transit pass in the back. I can actually put my work uh, ID card with this little clippy thing in it and it fits. This is one of the few where it fits because the slots fit in this way. I love this but I don't really have a pocket for this, so this is gonna have to just sort of float around at the bottom. I can put my, I usually put my, uh, my clay on the D-ring because although I like the way it looks when I'm hanging it on the outside of the bag, I just have this thing about somebody just grabbing it and yanking it. Um, my keys, unfortunately, um, will just have to sink to the bottom and my iPhone, which is what I will put into the little pocket on the side. So, so we zip this up, and this is what it looks like. You can see it's sagging quite a bit. You can see that there are, um, uh, how it's sort of collapsing there. You can see how there is some sag. From the side, it doesn't really look that much different. But you can you can definitely see that this bag is um, is sagging. Now um, I can't from where I'm sitting now I can't step far enough away to give you a modeling shot. But I will take modeling shots of the before and after and insert them um, into the video so you can see what that actually looks like. So that's the bag before. So now let's put the organizer in and put all the same stuff in. Oh, and by the way, if I put my iPad mini in here, I would just have to kind of either put it on the very bottom or try and slot it along the side. That's, that's that. Okay, so we're going to take all this stuff out now and I'm gonna put the organizer in and we'll see what difference that makes. The problem with this, it's at the bottom, my wallet, everything else kind of bumps into it, it ends up opening up, it gets caught on things that was making me crazy. Okay. As well, if I clipped my mini pochette uh, to the D-ring as well, <laughs> the little chains would get all tangled up and again, make me crazy. iPad comes out and iPhone. I don't know about anybody else, but I always find this little pocket hard to get into. It's like I've got to like really get my fingernail in there. Okay. All right. So, organizer, speedy. Okay. This is what's going to happen. Just sort of fold the end in, slide it in, slide it in like this, and then just open it up so that the bottom is sitting flat and that the ends are flat up against the end. As I said, the jumbo size fits perfectly into the Speedy 30. So I don't know if you can see that, but um, if it doesn't turn out very well uh, in terms of light, I'm going to take some photographs. Okay, so that's what it looks like once I've got the organizer inside. So let's put all this stuff back in. I'll show you how it um, does a great job of organizing my stuff. Okay, so zippy wallet back in, wristlet back in, 
and these three items and my mini pochette I'm not going to clip it to anything um, so these three things basically just go um, into the open open part of the bag at the bottom just sit at the bottom I'm going to take my reading glasses and I'm going to stand them up in the little loop at the end that way I know exactly where they are all the time and I can find them uh, my little card uh, organizer I'm going to put in one of the pockets on the side here stand it up it's not going to get all tangled up in my other items now my clay I rather than clipping it onto the D ring oh I don't actually don't have to do this I'm going to just loop the little loop this little um, red loop with the um, um, little red loop with the snap and what I find is that actually gives me a little bit more length when I'm pulling the clay out of the bag and uh, but now because I've got all these little pockets around the side instead of the clay just dangling inside the bag I can slip it into a little pocket there and it stays wonderfully out of the way now uh, my iPhone is going to go in um, a pocket down here and it's standing up down there. I hope you can see that. Standing up, I can find it right away. Uh, easier to just reach in and pull it out. Uh, this, that other little pocket, I just found it annoying. And my keys, I have uh, lots of options. I don't have to just throw it into the bottom of my bag, throw these in the bottom. So I put those in the, um, the side pocket over here. Have plenty of room either down at this end next to my reading glasses to stand up my sunglass case. And actually, if I want to carry my iPad mini with me, instead of, um, I can, you know, put it in the main body, but actually what I find uh, very handy is if I wanted to, I can actually slip this between the organizer and the bag. It's got its own little place, it stands up, the smart cover doesn't open on it, and it's just tucked away nice there on the side. So let's zip her up and check out the difference. Okay. Here she is with the purse organizer. Definitely more, a little bit more structure, but not, not stiff looking. You can still see there's a little bit of sag, still a little bit of sag at the bottom because while um, the organizer doesn't have a stiff base or there's no base shaper, it does add a little bit more structure there. And, oh, actually this is heavy. Um, and so that's, that's what it looks like. Uh, as I said, I will um, provide some modeling shots at the end because I can't stand far enough away from this camera, but um, I am absolutely thrilled with this organizer. I think it uh, does the job. It's very reasonably priced. It's very good quality material. It is made in the USA. And for those of you uh, ordering um, in Canada, I'm just outside of Toronto, and I ordered from um, the Purse Bling website. Got it in um, very quickly based on the, um, the shipping that I chose, and there weren't any extra duties that were added onto the bag. So just so you know that. Love it. Great quality. Organizes my bag. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks.